Hi, this is Anil back with another video tutorial for the learning layer on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the conditional compilation directives provided by the preprocessor in C. These are the directives that allow you to selectively compile portions of your program's source code. So the most commonly used directives are, you know, hash if, hash else, hash l if, and hash end if. And another thing is, you know, these are similar to if, else, and else if. So by using these directives, we can include portions of the code based upon the outcome of some constant expression. So let's see how we can use them in our program. For the demonstration purpose in this tutorial, we're gonna define an identifier called mark and it's gonna contain our mark. And by using this conditional compilation directives, we're gonna check for some conditions by using the identifier mark and then we're gonna include some part of the code depending on the condition. So first define it, it's gonna be hash defined then mark and I'm gonna assign it with a value of uh, 95. So here in this main of function, we have to use these directives. First we're gonna use this if, it's gonna be hash if, then we have to uh, write the expression, then it should end with end if. So make a note that we're not using any curly braces as we were using uh, while using that if else. So here, the code which is written between this if and end if will be the code that will be compiled if our condition here is executed successfully or if our condition here evaluated to true. So here we're gonna write uh, our expression it's gonna be mark is greater than or equal to 75. If it is so then we want to compile some code or include some code. It's gonna be printf and we're gonna say your marks are greater than 75 and uh, we're gonna use another printf you have got the grade A so now if this expression is satisfied then you know these statements these two printf statements will be compiled otherwise these two statements are skipped so we're gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see since this expression is evaluated to true mark is greater than or equal to 75 here our preprocessor included these two lines so that's why we're getting your marks are greater than 75 and you have got a grade a so this is about you know hash if directive now we're gonna see hash else so what if we want to compile or include some some code if this condition fails at that time we can use hash else it's similar to the else condition in if it's gonna be printf your marks are less save it now we're gonna make it less than 70, uh, 75 uh, I'm gonna make it 65 save it now you know this expression will be uh, evaluated to false that's because you know now this mark is 65 which is not greater than or equal to 75 that's why these two statement will be skipped or not compiled only this printf statement in this else block will be compiled so so save it compile and run it so as you can see your marks are less so this is about you know hash if and hash else now as you're gonna see hash L if this L if is similar to the else if so here if you want to test whether my marks are also greater than or equal to 50 then it is so then now we want to compile some code some other code it's gonna be hash L if then we have to write the expression it's gonna be mark greater than or equal to 50 so now if our marks are greater than or equal to 50 we're gonna copy this and paste it here and we're gonna say your marks are greater than 50 and uh, less than uh, 75 and you're gonna say okay you got a grade 
B and uh, in the else part uh, just for make it pretty you're gonna say you got the grade C save it our mark is um, 65 which is which is less than 75 that's why you know this expression evaluates to false so these two lines will not be compiled or included and uh, you know this mark is greater than equal to 50 is uh, evaluated to true that's why we're getting we're, we're gonna compile these two lines so and also these two lines are also be skipped so save it compile it and run so as you can see here your marks are greater than 50 and less than 75 and you have got the grade B so now just for the demonstration purpose we're gonna make it uh, less than 50 let's say 35 save it compile and run your marks are less you got the grade C so let's make it 95 compile and run okay your marks are greater than 75 and you got you have got the grade A so by using this conditional compilation directives you can uh, you can compile only the specific part of your source code so if you are writing a large program and you are maintaining the versions and depending on that uh, version needed if you have to compile the code then uh, you can use these directives so this is it this is about uh, the conditional compilation directives in C thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe I see you in the next tutorial.